Before any work can begin, PAR must perform a voltage test on the bucket of their truck. The bucket is energized to the appropriate voltage. In this case, PAR used the Rose Hill line just outside the substation for its testing. Testing must be done at the start of the day in which the work is scheduled. The damaged insulator on switch 34571 is located just north of the substation control building. Transits were placed in two locations. PAR used two trucks for this job. A bucket truck was placed in the area between the control building and the insulator stack. A boom truck was needed to reach over the control building in order to lift the stack just enough to remove the damaged insulator. Voice activated radios were used to position the boom directly above the insulator stack. Marks placed on the insulator in conjunction with the transits mentioned before ensure the alignment of the new insulator. PAR workers wrapped the damaged insulator with duct tape to ensure it would stay together during removal. At this point, the stack was tethered to limit any swaying caused by the wind. Here, you see the new insulator being lifted into position. These insulators weigh approximately 125 pounds. Before bonding themselves to the 345 kV bus voltage, workers clean the de-energized contacts. They clean the stationary contacts and the movable contacts on the blades. At this point, the workers bond themselves and the steel cage they are in to the 345 kV bus voltage. When bonding to the 345 kV voltage, workers wear what are called Faraday suits. These suits are made of galvanized steel mesh that is woven into the cotton and they cover the workers from head to toe. Special gloves are also worn. PAR workers are now ready to clean the stationary and movable blade contacts on the energized side of the switch. The initial attempts at alignment are done by hand cranking the switch into the closed position. This manual method provides the slow closure that is required. Binoculars are used to determine what adjustments need to be made to the switch in order for it to align properly with the upper and lower contacts. The switch is manually opened to allow for adjustments to be made. The nuts securing the insulator stack are adjusted to alter the vertical alignment of the stack. This adjustment helps ensure that both ends of the switch are making contact at the same time and in the proper position. After another manual close, it's determined that the expansion joints in the bus need to be moved slightly to allow the switch to align properly. This is done by using a strap for tension. The switch is once again closed manually. PAR workers are comfortable that the switch is adjusted properly and that it can be closed electrically. Yeah. 
After successful closure, the switch is opened electrically. Now that the switch is properly aligned, auxiliary contacts in the switch control box are adjusted to their proper position. These contacts follow the switch and inform system operators of the status of the switch. Following the insulator replacement, the switch alignment, and the adjustments within the control box, the switch is closed for the final time.